Hello, my fellow Yarnians. It's Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits. And, okay, I know I missed Monday, Monday's live at 6 p.m., and I missed yesterday. I was in bed all day yesterday, honestly. <laughs> I just had no energy for nothing. I just laid there in bed and then laid there some more and then ate something and then went back and laid there some more so that's the gist of my tuesday it's just gone and now we're into wednesday so look at i'm here to show you my finished polka dot blanket i love it i love it so so much i don't know if you guys can see very well there but this is the border which i think turned out beautifully i don't know which way i'm going here which I think turned out beautifully. This pattern is by Krista at The Secret Yarnery. And I have been wanting to make one of these for so stinking long. Like so long. So finally, Angela said, well, do you want to do the polka dot blanket? And I, that was before I went in for my surgery, for my lung surgery. And I even brought... <laughs> I even brought some of the crochet stuff with me to the hospital thinking I was going to be able to crochet. Yeah. Everything came back the way it went in the bag. <laughs> so when I got home, I still wasn't feeling well for the longest time. And then I just remember after I had made, oh God, what did I make? Oh, a few sweaters, crocheted sweaters. And you can check those out. I'll, I might be able to link them up here in the top here somewhere. But, um, I remembered about this blanket and I was like, you know what? I got to make this. I got to make the blanket. So what I used for it, this yellow, this beautiful yellow that you see down here. I think, yeah, that one's green. Okay. So this beautiful yellow here, I got a little end sticking out there. I'll just cut that later. <laughs> this was Craft Smart um, oh, Neon Yellow, I'm thinking. And then the green came from Angela from Ice Yarns, which was really beautiful. The two of them look the same right here, but they're really not. The orange was Safety Orange, and I'm pretty sure that was the new Craft Smart as well. And the pink was Red Heart, um, Pretty in Pink. And the blue, oh God, what color was that? It was a Bernat. I know that. It was a Bernat's color. And so was the black here. This was Bernat's. And the purple was Craft Smart as well. This purple that you see here, this was Craft Smart. And I used probably the better part of, well, I used only one, one ball of this purple for six dots, six circles, and then to go around the outside. But I'll tell you, I played yarn chicken. I only had a little bit left. So I recommend if you're going to get it, get the Craft Smart Purple. Um, neon Purple, I think it was called, or Neon Violet. Uh, get yourself two, just, just to be, be safe. Um, but all the rest of them, I only used one skein of yarn. I couldn't believe it, except for the black. The black, I used probably almost four skeins of Bernat black. But look at this bottom edge. Like, I mean, look at, this is her tutorial too. She does a wonderful tutorial. This is her edging as well. And I just love it. And it's a good size blanket. You can see it draped over here on the, or draped over here on the side, how far it goes down on the other side. But, oh my God, I'm just so pleased with it. And I didn't do any kind of, rhymer reason for the dots i just put the dots together trying not to get two of them side by side or whatever right but i see these ones really look the same <laughs> oh you can't see that one the yellow yellow the lime and the yellow but whatever i like it like that it looks like a good game of twister doesn't it <laughs> but Yep, that's my finished dot blanket. And I almost might make another one in the future using, I don't know, I almost want to do a black and white, but I think it would be boring. A black and white with, I don't know what kind of background. I'd obviously have to have a different background. Hmm. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for black and white dots with a color in behind, let me know in the, in the chats down below. 
because I really like to do one. I might change my mind on that. Who knows? I might do jewel tones, but this one was neon, it's supposed to be neon. I tried to find as many colors I could, as bright as I could for a cheap price. <laughs> so I went with Bernat and Craft Smart. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called now, the Michaels Craft Smart. Or did they change that name? I can't remember. Anyways, I'm so pleased with it. It's such a good size blanket. I am going to put it on the back of my couch for a while, I think. And yeah, it's going to be so pretty. I just love it. And it was so easy to make. So easy to make. She does the, there's five steps to her tutorial. You got your, when you're beginning off, she does the circles and then she shows you how to put the, the block around it. And then you sew it all together. It's really, well, not sew, you crochet it. It's really cool the way she did it. I've never done a blanket quite like that. And then it's got these beautiful Pico. I don't know if you can see them. You can probably see them on the side. Beautiful Pico edging all the way around. That was e super easy to do. Usually Picos, I'm like, eh, because they're on thinner shawls and stuff. And it's like, oh my God, it's taking forever. But it didn't take forever. So, yeah. And I used a five millimeter, which I think Krista uses a 5.5 or a six, but you can get away with a five millimeter if that's what you want to use. You can use whatever you want. I guess that if I had to use the uh, 5.5 or six, the blanket would have been a little bit bigger maybe, but I'm just so happy with it. So, so happy with it. But right now I am working on a blanket by Hooked on Sunshine that is called the Doodad. I love the name of her. I love the name of her blankets. It's so cool. I just love it. But yeah, I'm working on that right now. And I'm using the butterfly yarn, number seven. Oh, it's so pretty. It goes from like a light color, like a light vintage cream to a, all the way up to a dark burgundy. Really, really dark. Almost like a chocolate in some ways. I don't know. I think it does anyways. But anyways, that's my dot blanket. And I just wanted to show you guys. And if you're wanting to make it, I'll leave the link for secret for the secret yarnery. And I'll put the link in for all of the um, steps to do it. Till then, guys. Bye.